good morning dear students let's begin the chapter and welcome back after a break of your summer vacations let's begin with the grammar part chapter number 5 nouns what are nouns a noun is a word that contains person place thing idea or animal that means any person any place any name of a thing or any idea or animal these are all called nouns the name of a person the name of a place the name of a thing the name or some idea or any name of an animal okay so let's read the definition given in the book everything around us has a name everything around us has a name like right now you're watching this video you're having a phone it's a thing it has a name phone i'm holding a pencil in my hand this is a thing and it has a name it is a pencil i'm reading through a book this thing has a name it is a book clear people animals places and things have names that we call nouns now all these names are called nouns examples the farmer is in his farm okay farmer is a person farm is a place this is a cat here cat is the name of an animal delhi is a big city delhi is the name of a place see here person just give an example of a name of a person i give an example like ramesh any example regarding a place you can say right now as we are in dhanbad we can write dhanbad then example of a thing right now i'm holding a pencil in my hand so i can write pencil then idea right now it is not mentioned in your book but it is also a noun any idea that you are having like happy or sad those are some ideas or the feelings that you have okay or you can say anger anything animal you can just give a common example of an animal right now you can say cat okay so here are the examples of a person place thing animal and idea let's begin with the exercise now underline the nouns in the sentences below the goat is standing on the stool the first has been already been done the goat is standing on the stool goat animal stool is a thing number 2 the boy is sitting on a branch of the tree boy tree branch okay number 3 the kitten is hiding under the mat kitten you know what is a kitten the baby of a cat is called kitten the young one yes the young one of a cat is called kitten then mat it is a thing then number 4 the girl is in the cab here girl person cab thing you know what is a cab taxi a car has four wheels car again it's a thing wheels things the lion is relaxing in his den lion animal den place where animal lives where the lion lives the bear and the tiger are in the zoo bear tiger they both are the names of the animals zoo it's a place number 8 the dog and the kitten play with the ball dog animal kitten again the baby cat ball it's a thing clear so here is exercise number a complete now we begin with number b underline the nouns in the following story one day a small brown bear was walking slowly through the woods now here bear okay brown 
is the name of the color then woods okay now he was sad because he had lost his soft teddy here sad then we have teddy sad is a feeling okay sad is a feeling so it's a noun and here it is teddy teddy is a thing teddy bear soft teddy see soft teddy in the hands of the bear next the teddy was his friend teddy again that's it in this particular sentence we have only teddy as a noun he lost it the previous day when he was running through the dark woods now here in this sentence we have only woods clear next sentence he had been jumping over small stones big logs and wet puddles here thing is a stone logs wet puddles all these are things stones you know what are stones logs big logs of wood you must have heard what are logs see here it is an example of a log a piece of a wood and puddles you can see the puddles wet puddles next sentence he was now looking for his teddy in this sentence again teddy he looked under big bushes tiny twigs and behind tall trees now here bushes twigs and trees clear next sentence all these the name bushes it is a part of a tree the name given to a part of a tree then twigs then trees all these are things he lifted up heavy stones moved tiny pebbles but he could not find his teddy here in this sentence stones pebbles and teddy all these are things next sentence but he did not lose hope hope is a feeling it's an idea so here it is also a noun now after searching for a long time he saw a very wet and dirty teddy sitting in a big puddle here in this particular sentence the noun is teddy and puddle next the small bear was very happy bear happy bear okay animal happy feeling he hopped homeward with a big smile on his face with the teddy in his arms here we only have teddy arms homeward it's a way to the home so homeward no with a big smile so in this particular sentence smile then teddy and arms smile it's a feeling that we have on the face teddy <coughs> thing teddy bear and arms a part of your body so this is your chapter number 5 kindly go through the explanation again exercise a and b has been done along with the explanation okay thank you